yeah, people don't see us united. You know, you, you go into every election, uh, not just to win your seat. You go to every election to win government. I mean, the people do not expect us to be only has a largest opposition party. They want us to be in power to bring changes. Not like in the past. In the past, of course, you know, we, we have no hope of power. We talk about denying two-thirds. But now, you have been in power before. You've got to talk about uh, forming the next government, or at least a government in waiting. So when you bring this message, your team must be united. And has, I was, I've always stressed this. You can only win elections if you fight as a coalition. Malaysia has always been ruled by a coalition. No matter how strong AMNO is, AMNO always ruled through a coalition. Whether it's Alliance, Rikatan, Barisan National, or later even Pakatan Harapan. And now, it is still a coalition. So, when we go in as a coalition, it's just not DAP alone. It is also Amana and PKR. If you don't use a common logo, what message does this tell the voters? So, I think that message uh, is distracted and you cannot hit home that we are serious and committed towards forming the next government. They want to see us united as a team. So when people don't see that, I think that was one of the reasons why I think uh, we didn't win as many seats. Uh. Uh, of course, DAP managed to retain 10, but I think for PKI and Amana, we didn't see that many seats because I think the logo issue hit them harder. But Amana used a PS logo. Yes, but I'm talking about the message. When we go down there with our supporters, they, they, because sometimes adjoining constituency is PKR, no? Yes. How come mix? And then, you know, like, they may stay in this constituency, but they vote in the neighbouring constituency. They get confused. If you cannot even agree on the logo, what are you talking about? A, a government. No, everyone's so, saying... Uh, so I think this is one of the reasons. Uh, I think not the principal reason. But one of the reasons that, that could have easily been resolved. And unfortunately, uh, PKR decided to go ahead with their logo. Now, GE is just around the corner. Uh, so, you, uh, are you saying PH should uh, use common logo yes. again in uh, PH? They use a common logo because, it, I mean, the results have shown whether you use a common logo or use a PKR logo, the results are the same. You didn't perform better. You still perform the same. In, in their opinions, the PKR supporters think that uh, the PH logo has been tainted because of uh, Mahade. And yeah. We, 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 that, that, is their, that is their concern. But don't forget, now, you are also part of the government. By using your own logo, you will not be able to avoid being associated with the previous government. You must explain. The Deputy Prime Minister is who? It's not from uh, uh, other parties. It's from PKR. That's got one. And when she was Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, she did a lot of good policies for women. You cannot, on one hand, say, oh, uh, uh, they have failed because of the Sheraton move. But on the other hand, uh, uh, you say oh, all these successes is all because of, of us, nothing to do with Pakatan Harapan. Cannot what? You must take both the good and the bad together. And you must explain. If you try to avoid that, run away from explaining by using a different logo, the public will not buy it. There's a call from uh, Pahang DAP leader, Zeng Xian, Li Jin Chen. Uh, he said, uh, we don't need a coalition, but uh, we, we contest together, something like that. Lah. Uh, what's your comment on that? No, uh, we appreciate these views uh, because the AP has always been a democratic party. And this is not the first time that Ching Sen has said this. He has said this before. So this is uh, nothing new. But I think it's a question of looking at the, uh, the history and looking at the track record. Uh, if we, we may perform better in some constituencies, we use the rocket logo. But if we want to reach out to uh, not only our normal base, but you want to reach out further, I think you've got to go in as a coalition. As I said just now, history has shown that we can only win power as a coalition. So if you go alone, I think it will be difficult to achieve that purpose, to win power. Uh, has a coalition. Of course, we did that in 2013. Uh, but we, we only want state governments. So I think if you are looking at federal power, there's no choice but to go in as a coalition. So that's why we, uh, much as, I mean, for me, I'm more familiar with the rocket and the Harapan logo because, you know, since 80s, uh, I've been involved in politics. I would definitely, definitely prefer to use the rocket logo 
But if you look at the the the, the big picture, the larger interest of ensuring that not just you win, but your allies must win, so you can form power. No single party can win power on on its own. So only when your allies win, then only you got the opportunity to do so. I, I've said this in my statement, and I repeat this again. Only when we share victories, can we win more.